folks, welcome back to Natural Magic Building, and uh, the actual last episode of Building Building. Next time, we're actually just gonna kind of do a tour of the uh, of the subcontinent, the Beef Neapolitan subcontinent, and uh, just kind of say goodbye to the to the land. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna build. So, um, okay, I've already got the black glowstone on my person. I'm just gonna throw some around here. So this is the, uh, the black room. And possibly black and white room. I, I can't believe I haven't seen these things in here. I should, I knew they were in there, because I used to play with Horizons and they were in there. But the, uh, the item display. The item display. You can put stuff in them. And, you know, there was another room where I wanted to do that. Where was that? Was it the Ender Room? It was the Ender Room. I believe. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just throw that there. Um, let's, um... Put a black bag in there. Actually, no, this is, this is the purple room. That's right. Um, and this is actually the, the Ender Room. So, um, oh, Ender Amethyst, that's nice. Put one in there. Uh, Enderman and Printed Crystal. Yeah. Uh, Lavender Quartz. Um, Ender Essence, Ender Bow. Lavender Queens. Ender Dew. Hey, there we go. Cool. Put some stuff in there. Alright. Cool. And we're actually going to put those to use in here, too. So now, why have I not done a whole lot of magic in the castle? Well, the story-related reason is because there is kind of a um, little bit of passive-aggressive rivalry between the Thomcraft Wizards and the Ars Magica Wizards and the Batania Witches and the Witchery Witches. And then you get, you know, the, um, the, uh, Project E alchemists in there, and the Xenos alchemists in there, and it all just turns into a big hot mess, and then, God forbid, the blood mages get involved, because then things just go straight to shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, I, I, and, and generally, I, they, they kind of just snip at each other, they build their facilities a little too close to each other so they have to no choice but to look at each other you know stuff like that but you know you don't want to piss these people off because they could like make your head explode or turn you into a cabbage without even really trying all that hard so i didn't want as the emperor of beefnopolis i really did not want to put forth the appearance that i was playing favorites with one magical system over another now then why in the hell am I doing Batania and Magical Crops? Well, Batania uh, kind of falls under the uh, heading of Agricultural Magic, sort of, and I didn't really get that far into it anyway in this pack. Meow, that's right. As for Magical Crops, Magical Crops is actually just agriculture that happens to sort of be magical. So, you know, I, it's not a, it's not a uh, complex school of magic. It's not, it's not an art that has to be taught. You just go out there and you plug seeds in the ground, then you harvest es essence and turn it into other seeds and stuff. Anyway. Alright. So let's, uh... I'm going to... I think we can kill these now. I think we're sufficiently lit now. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna just... I'm gonna do the ceiling first. And we'll see how that looks. And then I might come back and do the walls too, because why not? Oh, that's shorty. All right. So uh, I, over this weekend, I recorded a few episodes of Hardcore, Hardcore Two, Vanilla Hardcore Two, uh, which also turned out to include the last episode of Vanilla Hardcore Two. Oh boy, I'm not going to spoil it. Um, I'm not going to tell you how it happened. Um, I will say 
that it was less embarrassing than how uh, Vanilla Hardcore 1 ended. I did learn my lesson a few on a few things. However, um, I got cocky and I tried to be a hero when I should have walled myself up or just, you know, run like hell. And, um, yeah, it, it, it didn't, it didn't go well. Hey, um, stencils are a thing, right? A stencil. Singular. Here we go. Um, hmm. I don't really want the musical notes. Um, I definitely don't want the creeper face. Give me this one. You know what? I mean, I've got all this white crap in my inventory. But... I think I might actually do this room. You know, Beefnopolis colors. Oh, let me throw that away. Okay, how do we... Oh, shizzle. Okay, that that's not how we... <laughs> that's not how we do the thing. All right. Okay, now how do we take the stencil off? Oh, shift right click. Okay. Okay, um, that could be a pain in the butt to do on the ceiling, though. Oh, fudge. <laughs> that could definitely be a pain in the butt to do on the ceiling. So, um, let's, let's do it on the wall instead. In fact, let's go around and do this. So all this time I've had, you know, stencils and never really used them. But that's okay. And, you know, um, this is not the end of creative. I, it's the end of natural magic creative. Yeah, but no. Um, after this is going to come... Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2, which will be much like ma Natural Magic in that it's going to have a survival half and a creative half. And this time I'm going to be building a modern beef Nopolis. And it's going, there's going to be a power plant. There's going to be a, I have one thing that I've decided that I'm going to put in. I'm going to have a charging, public charging stations because of course, you know, we've got power. Power is a thing. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a, a, a little scaffold here. For ease of shift right clicking. Okay, come on. And then we'll just bust that out afterwards. We're going to have public charging stations. Um, there's go It's going to start off, you know, like his big historical cities do. I'll start off with, you know, the, the first colonization area and then just kind of go branch out from there and then we'll have some skyscrapers. We'll have the big uh, capital building. That's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. And what's really cool is uh, the area that I'm building in is kind of uh, got a, a mushroom biome running through it. And uh, there, there are some... Uh, there's some headcanon about this. That mushroom biomes are actually... There's an unwritten law that mushroom biomes belong to the vegan tribe. So while it is technically part of Chateaubriand City, and it is technically part of... Oops. It is technically part of Beefnopolis. Um, the vegan tribe does kind of get the run of it. Okay. Now if I take this out of my hand... That's how we do that. Okay. Let's just go around and do this. So there will be, uh, you know, some vegan tribe stuff in the mushroom biome. There will be a little, uh, oh, crap. <laughs> a little shoot uh, where mushrooms that have lost their shrooms can be guided into, uh, out, out of the vegan tribe territory. Because then, you know, they're just actual cows that are eating all the eating all the grass and stuff that are meant for the mushrooms. And the vegan tribe isn't going to use regular cows. 
So they, they send them to us. They just try not to think too much about what we do to them. <laughs> Occasionally they passive aggressively send us baskets of vegetables. Well, they, they may be sincere. Um, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, they, of course, they're probably sincere, but some of them might be a little passive aggressive about it. But anyway. <laughs> now, the vegan tribe is not the mortal enemy of Beefnopolis. That actually was the Friar Nation at one point. However, by the time we get to uh, modern Beefnopolis, it's much like, you know, the rivalries between the various magic factions. Um, they kind of snip at us once in a while. They kind of make fun of us, um, and we make fun of them, but we're not actively at war anymore. We're not actively enemies anymore. We're just kind of friendly rivals, and we all, we realize that we're all part of the food chain. We're all part of the food pyramid, so there's no sense in, um, okay, that, that looks, that looks cool. There's no sense in, in starting, pardon the expression, starting beef. Um, <laughs> when they're really, you know, I don't like it. Let's, um, let's stencil it up. Good God. Okay. I need a stencil. Okay. A stencil. There we go. No sense in starting beef when you're all just part of the food chain. Wisdom from Emperor Beef Gnaw. Okay. Cool. All right. And we'll just do the rest of it straight up black. I think we do actually need to, um, yeah, we definitely do. So I've been, uh, doing some artwork. Uh, just came off my winter break. And I, I did two things. Uh, I binge played the entire Submachine series, which if you haven't, oh god. Um, it starts off as, you know, escape the room type stuff. And just turns into this massive sprawling adventure. I think the only one I haven't finished is Submachine Universe. And that's a big one. Um, but anyway... I, yeah. Uh, also, the other thing I did, I got a set of uh, colored ink. Dr. Uh, Paige Martin's Bombay India inks, if you're curious. And kind of started dabbling in ink painting. So I've got some, uh, some artwork up that is Escape the Room inspired. You can see it on Beefnopolis.com. Uh, it's on my Pixiv. It's on Redbubble. Uh, if you're on Newgrounds, uh, it's on Newgrounds. Yes, I am. I am on Newgrounds now. I'm Alex Beefnaw on Newgrounds. And uh, by the way, if you are on Newgrounds, do me a solid, please, and scout me. I, I hate to be that guy that's begging for views and likes and crap, but oh, damn, I like it. Um, I hate to be that guy that's begging for views and crap, but uh, I'm begging for views and crap. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, um, give me, all right, let's get some blue crap up in here. There's the good old vanilla lapis block. There's the, oh, a slightly darker lapis block. And then there's this lapis block. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's a uh, lapis celestis, okay. Okay, cool. So. Um, let's go with this one. Ooh, that's pretty. Oops. Oops. All right. Yeah, I, I would love to someday do a, um, do an escape the room type of game of my own, but uh, my skills and my amount of free time are suboptimal for that. So, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But I can sure as hell draw the environments. 
and I've kind of discovered that I really like to draw architecture. I like to draw in, especially interiors. I'm good with, pretty good with exteriors too, but I've got to work on perspective somehow. Okay. All right. Wow, that, that looks like it's all just glowing. That is so cool. Okay, um, we need a bed. Oops. And let's go ahead and do the carpenter bed. What the hell is that? Bedrock? No, no, let's leave that alone. Flower bed. Okay, that that's, uh, all right. Forestry, botany stuff. Alright, uh, where'd the bed go? Okay. Um, let's put the bed right in the middle. Uh, hello? Why? Okay, can we not? Can we, can we actually not? Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, okay, we can fix this. There we go. Problem solved. All right. Um, can we? Yeah, we can do that. Hey, hey, there we go. All right. Now, if we learned one thing about king size beds, why am I doing this lopsided bed? Because there we go. You got to do it like that. Now, sadly, I. I don't know if this is planned or if this has actually been implemented in, few, in a later version than what's in this pack, but uh, Carpenter Block Person, it would be so very awesome if in the future you could make um, the bedding, you know, like other Carpenter Blocks where you throw a block at it and it takes on that texture. Because I, some of the chisel carpets would make awesome bedspreads. Breadspreads? Breadspreads, yes. Uh, <laughs> would be absolutely awesome. But unfortunately, we can't do that. Oops, I screwed up. Okay. And we'll just... Uh, Okay, and we'll um, Okay, I've I've goofed up somewhere. Oops. There we go. Okay, that's that's cool. That's better. All right. Okay. Now we've got to have some uh some something up ends here to make this look cool. Give me some paintings. Now one thing, oh yeah, there we go. One thing um, that I meant to do in this series that I never got around to doing was to, uh, oops, oh god, was to, um, take that big Donkey Kong painting that I used for the... Well, I'll show you. In just a sec. Oh, ouch. Okay. That, I don't like it. <laughs> no, sir, I don't like it. Um, hmm. Okay. Let, let's do this again. Because we did this in another room and it worked out really well. We'll make a pattern. With other paintings. You know, kind of do the uh, the Andy Warhol thing here. There we go. Let's get these out of here. I'll show you. What I did in the uh, theater, in case you hadn't uh, seen that episode. What I did in the movie theater, I used the Donkey Kong painting as, you know, the, the screen. 
And what I was going to do was change the texture every week to have it, you know, make it show a different movie, basically. I never quite got around to that, but when I do, uh, when I do Mod Sauce, I will do that. Uh, I will have an actual movie theater. Okay, I'm going to do these. And we're going to... Let's see. Let's do a, some. Let's do something different here, shall we? Um, let's do this. Actually, no. Give those back. Give me some bookshelves. I have I have ideas for mod sauce, and it's gonna be fun. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, the Saurians, I don't want to use red. I don't really want to use necromancers. Let's use the necromancers. And the novice. Okay. We can get rid of these now. We can get rid of these now. Or, say, um, I, I think I may have tried this. I think I may have tried this and it didn't work. However, if it doesn't work... Didn't work. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because guess what? Thank you, space! <laughs> okay. Alright, now I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, oh, I need the clock. Actually, hold up. Uh, um, hold that thought. We'll, we'll do that some, some other time. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, no, no, give, give it back. Okay, and let's put um, bookshelves along the top. Alright, uh, I need a big painting. Skellington, the uh, the Grim Fandango fan art, perhaps. No, no, no fit. Why no fit? Too big. Uh, I don't really want to do the flaming skull. H how big is this painting anyway? Okay, yeah, that that's big. All right, yeah, let's just leave that one there. That one's cool. Okay, uh, fine, fine. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Uh, how about the pointer? Will the pointer fit? No? Okay. Will the sunset fit? Not where I want it. But I can do that. And then... Ah, there we go. All right, let's put the item display. Oop, oops, there. Actually, pop, pop. Okay, um, give me these back. Okay. Give me some tables. I could build some tables out of micro blocks. That's a thing I could do. But I'm not gonna. And ebony table is not a thing. Okay, that's fine. We'll just use the, the Thomcraft tables. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Put those there. All right. And give me... I think it's a couch. I, a year I've been playing with this pack. A year! And, oh crap, I've got way too much junk here. Uh, and I still can never remember whether it's called a sofa or a couch or a seat or what. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, can't put that there then. Alright. God. Okay. Give me that. Okay, now that... Nope. That's... Nope. That's not gonna do what I wanted it to do. That's fine. Uh, here, where's, where's the clock? There we go. Put you there. Okay, you know what we can do? You know what we can do? There we go. Solve that whole problem. And uh, I can do this. If we want to get a little fancy here and break up this massive black wall. There we go. Uh, where's the stencil? Actually, let's not do that. Give me those back. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't like it. However, that I like. Except that it's off center. Son of a gun. That's all right. That's fine. That's just fine. That's just fine. It's the two Aztecs. We can fix that. We sure can fix that. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Get my Bob the Builder on here. Ah, there we go. All right, that's that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Except that this is now off <laughs> center. There we go. Big couch. All right. All right, now we need to put some cool stuff on the tables here. Um, Eldritch Blood Orb. Oh, hell no. Warping. Uh, yeah, no, let's not. Tainted Blood Shard. Yeah, let's not. Set Export Crystal. Otherworld Aura. Water Affinity Tome. Okay, that's, that's pretty harmless. Celestial Prism. Say, give me that. Can I put that in here? Uh, sorta. It looks funny. Let's let's leave that alone then. <laughs> oh, very nice. All right. And let's see what else we got here. What else we have that's black? That's cool. Uh, we've got these. I've never really uh, messed with these. Can I? Uh, let's see. Where where can we put? Where where put? Where put floating flower? Um, nah. Now I got some. Uh, okay, yeah, I did get some crap. I got the uh, the black hanging baskets. Um, okay, but I need brackets. Let's see. Black? Black. Or, here, belay that. Steel. Iron. What, whatever the hell that is. Alright. One there, one there. Eh... Uh, 
Not there. Um, here. That is a good place for those. Alright. Let's see. Uh, what else we got here? What other black stuff do we have here? Uh, blackberry liqueur. Black currant liqueur. Signal flares. Um, butterfly. Butterflies. Hmm. Give me the butterfly. Um, let's get some crap out of my hot bar here. Give me back this flower. Ah, uh, no. Put the flower back in. <laughs> Little blue wigglers. Give me the blue candle. The floating candle. Let's put one there. Okay. I think at this point I am going to call this room done. Actually, uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, no, not there. There? I know that we need the light, because we've got black glowstone all up in. But uh, I think at this point we're going to call this room done. So next week we're going to take our final little tour of the Beef Depolitan subcontinent. And... Uh, then we're moving on to Mod Sauce on the new channel. Uh, by the way, yes, new channel. So, take care, folks. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Right. Nope. That cake's been sitting there since, like, as God, since I made it for the quest, but it's kind of stale. So, let's just leave it there. It's, it's kind of nasty.